Hello, good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How do you feel? I feel very happy. Really? What about your weekend? How was it? Yes. I, I was very nice because I nice. I was went to the beach with my family. Oh, really? Yes. That's perfect. Okay. When on on Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Perfect. Um good evening, Maris. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? Oh, I'm okay. You know, today was a really good day. It's Monday, right? So we are starting the week. So it was a good day. Mm -hmm. And what about in your uh work at your job? How was it, Maurice? Was it stressful or no? Hey, say it again, please. Oh, yes. Was it stressful or no? A stress? No? No, no, no. No, not today. No, not today. Not today. Okay, perfect. Good evening, Nelly. How are you? Yes, I think that Nelly is there. Yeah. How do you feel yeah. today, Nelly? Fine. You're fine. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, what about what about your weekend? Um, good. It good. was good. Uh, I I'm rested in my home, mm -hmm. and I got out uh, with my family in. To eat something. Mm -hmm. it okay. All right, so it was good. It was good. It was a relaxing weekend. Okay, yes. perfect, Nelly. Uh, well, I can see that Pablo is connecting. Okay, so we hope it doesn't rain, right? Because yesterday was raining a lot. Okay, yesterday it rained a lot, right? Mm -hmm. But okay. Well, we are going to start uh, with today's class. Okay, welcome once again. And for today's agenda, we have uh, the warm up, right? So we also have grammar and we are going to cover unit four. Okay, and we are going to also have vocabulary about patience and waiting vocabulary. Yeah, so we also have the speaking time. We have a grammar quiz, a listening quiz, a reading quiz, and the end of the class. Okay. So, guys, to begin with, all right, let me ask you, do you think you are a patient person? Yes or no, and why? Do you think you are a patient person? Okay, uh, tell me if yes or no, and give me reasons what you think uh, that you are or you are not, okay? So, let's see, uh, think about it. I'll give you one minute, okay? Think about it, okay? Are you patient or no? And why? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Maris, yeah. do you think you are patient? Yes or no? Patient. 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 Yes, do because you think you are patient? I not. You, you are not? No. Because okay. I, I like to... okay. So you are not patient, Maurice. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. And you, Nelly, are you patient? I think that yes, uh, but maybe the situation <laughs> that um <laughs> Almost all the way yet. 
almost always, but depends <laughs> on the situation, okay? All right. And you, Carlos, do you think you are a patient person? Hello, dijo Carlos o Carla? Oh, Carlos. Then Carla. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes, teacher, I am a patient person. Sometimes. Yes. Okay. And you, Carla? I think usually. Usually? Patient. Okay. <laughs> you are a patient person. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Well, and you, Claudia, good evening. Do you think you are a patient person? Are you patient or no? Good evening. Good uh, evening. It depends on the situation. It depends in on my the work, situation. Yes, I am patient. <laughs> but in your life? In general? No, yes, yes. Yes, you are? <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good, Claudia. What about you, Pablo? Are you patient? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I think. I know I know person patient. You are not a patient person. No. Nah. Pablo, come on. Okay, Pablo. <laughs> and you, Bernardo, are you patient? Yes, teacher. A lot. A lot. Okay, very good. So let's see, guys. Well, do you think that Patience is important? Well, I think that yes, okay? Well, today we are going to start talking about patience, okay? So, the first thing, let me ask, things that test your patience, okay? Those are a couple of things, okay, that probably, yes, test your patience. Now, Rank the things that might test your patience from one to ten, with being with one being the thing that annoys you the most. Okay, so let's see. Read all of them, and I will ask. Okay, in this case, let's go one by one. Okay, to identify probably vocabulary that we don't know. Number one, people who walk slowly okay so people who walk slowly las personas que caminan slowly yeah slowly despacio a slow internet connection okay a slow internet connection okay then we also have taxi drivers who don't know the best route okay Taxi drivers who don't know the best route. Los conductores, los taxistas que no conocen la mejor ruta. Okay? Think about it. Empiece a pensar en dónde está este, ese tipo de cosa que le puede molestar, que puede eh, tener impacto en su paciencia. All right? So then, when your takeout delivery takes much longer than they said. When you order a pizza and they said, yes, it is going to arrive in 15 minutes, but it takes 30 minutes, okay? So cuando su pedido llega o toma más tiempo del que usted, pues, esperaba o le dijeron. Backseat drivers. ¿Qué son los backseat drivers? Drivers. Los backseat drivers are basically the people that are in the back. Yes, son las personas que van en el asiento trasero. Okay, probably you are really focused, right? Usted está bien enfocado en lo, en, en lo que va. Y la persona, maybe they are like talking to you. Están va de hablar o usted no quiere hablar, okay, etc. Then, backseat drivers. Son los pasajeros de atrás. Then we also have being a stuck in traffic. Okay. Uh -huh. I think that this one is difficult. Then when people take the elevator to the second floor. Cuando las personas toman el ascensor 
al segundo piso. Probably they can go ahead and use the stairs. Pueden utilizar las gradas, right? But I don't know. So, having to re-explain, ¿ok? Tener que explicar nuevamente algo, ¿ok? If someone doesn't understand, si alguien no le comprende. ¿Esto afecta a su paciencia? Yes, no, del 1 al 10, ¿cuánto? ¿Ok? Internet pop-up windows. Internet pop-up windows. ¿Qué son los pop-up windows? What are those? Pop-up windows are those type of messages that block, right? That block yourself from visiting a website. And probably this website is really important to you. So the internet pop-up windows son esas pequeñas um, como, como mensajes que le aparecen a uno y usted no puede acceder a, a ese sitio web porque tiene que darle allow, permitir. Y en ocasiones usted no sabe por qué no le, no le aparece el sitio web, pero es porque le ha aparecido el pop-up windows, right? El que aparece en la barra de buscada. Then, when you wait for someone to answer a message. When you wait for someone to answer a message. Does it test your patience? Uh -huh. Does it test your patience? Okay, so let's see. People who walk slowly from one to 10. One being the thing that annoys you, okay? So, uno viene siendo lo que más le molesta. Lo que más, usted dice, esto sí, no tengo paciencia para esto, okay? So, people who walk slowly from one to 10. Claudia, for you, from one to 10, People who walk maybe, slowly. Maybe being one, uh, the most. Yes, the most. Que le, la una es la que más le molesta. Uh, Which one from those? Uh, five. Number five? Backseat drivers? Ah. Uh, which oh, one oh, for me is... Slowly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, number five. Now... Tell me which one is the one that annoys you the most. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the, um, being stuck in traffic. Being stuck in traffic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what about you, Pablo? What is the one that annoys you the most? That you said, no, I don't really like this. I cannot. <laughs> Having to explain. Having to re explain yourself? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what about you, Maurice? Uh, for me, uh, being stuck in traffic. Being stuck in traffic. Okay. Two people. All right. So, what about you, Nelly? Um, a slow internet connection. Slow internet connection. Okay. Okay, what about you, Carla? Maybe your takeout delivery. Really? Okay. Oh my God, okay. Okay, what about you, Wendy? Which one annoys you the most? Uh -huh. Wendy, creo que no la escuchamos. No. Okay. I see, teacher. Yes. Yes. Which one um, annoys you the most? ¿Cuál le molesta más de todas estas? Es la que más me molesta. Yes. Um, es como... Uh, People who walk slowly? Yes, teacher. Okay. People who walk slowly. All right. Emerson, what about you? A slow internet connection. As well as slow the internet. Mm -hmm. Internet pop-up windows. And internet pop-up windows. Okay. All right. What about you, Carlos Vladimir? 
a slow internet connection. As well, okay. Okay, and you, George, which one um, annoys you the most from those? A slow internet connection. And the people who walk slowly. Okay. All right. Thank you, George. Bernardo, what about you? Um, a slow internet connection. A slow internet connection. Okay. All right. Well, I think that Eduardo, Franco, what about you? Being stuck in traffic. Being stuck in traffic. Okay. Well, okay, guys. I see that Jonathan and Marina, you are as listeners. Probably you are busy. Okay. So now, in this case, as we can see right here, most of you set a slow internet connection. Okay. Yes, I think that that is really annoying. Right. It is really annoying. Okay, guys. Very good. So now let's move. Okay, let's move and let's continue uh, with the following. Okay. Patience and impatience. Yes. So we have different adjectives right here. So we have crabby, placid, even tempered, restless, forgiven, tolerant, grouchy. Touchy, irritable, understanding. Okay, so guys, what is the meaning of crabby? What is crabby, guys? What is crabby? Huh? Crabby? No, crabby means malhumorado yes, malhumorado when you are crabby that means que usted es una persona que tiene un mal humor crabby yes what is the meaning of placid what is placid uh -huh. what is placid placid yes, in this case placid is somebody who is calm right, que es calmado Que es tranquilo. If you said, oh, he is placid. Que es una persona que es tranquila. Que es una persona relajada. Yes, placid. What is the meaning of even tempered? What is even tempered? Even tempered? Um... Okay, so even temper is going to be a person who is also calm, serena. Serena, yeah. una persona que es serena. Okay, que usted le dice y no, o sea, él es bien serena. Esa persona, ella es bien serena. Okay, yes. Even temper, que puede controlar su temperamento. Sereno, calmado, calmada, etc. So what is the meaning of restless? What is restless? Uh -huh. So, restless es una persona inquieta. Okay, es una persona inquieta. Yes. So, if um, you meet a person that is always very um, restless, is this type of person that um, he goes to one place and then goes to another one and he is talking or she is talking a lot and, and you see this person that is really inquieto, inquieta, okay? Most of the time, kids, right? Most of the time. What is the meaning of forgiven? Forgiven is una persona que? Olvidadísimo. No. Forgiven, bueno, yes. But forgiven is una persona que perdona fácilmente. Oh, okay. Yes, so, uh, a cierto punto se le olvida, okay, porque es una persona forgiving, 
¿ok? Entonces, forgiving es una persona que lo disculpa a usted y que, yes, o sea, no hay rencor, right? You are forgiven, yes? Tolerant, you know what that is, tolerante, ¿ok? Grouchy, grouchy es gruñón, también, ¿ok? Grouchy es una persona que siempre anda enojada, una persona que siempre usted lo va a ver y que siempre anda de mal humor. Rochi, ok. Touchy, touchy is basically una persona eh, delicada, pero no en un buen sentido. El touchy, una persona que es touchy, es una persona hasta cierto punto que usted no le puede decir nada porque se enoja. ¿Sí? Touchy. Usted le dice, no, a ella no se le puede decir nada porque se enoja. Okay, so that is something negative. Yeah. Uh, irritable, you know what that is. Okay, ya sabe qué es. Okay. And understanding. Understanding es una persona que es muy comprensiva. Okay. Si usted tiene una, un, a un jefe o a un compañero que es muy comprensivo, que usted le dice algo, right, that you say something to that person, and that person is, okay, yes, of course, okay, I will help you out. Okay, que siempre le ayuda, que comprensivo, comprensiva, understanding, understanding. Okay, so now, what are the characteristics of patient people? ¿Cuáles piensan que son las características de personas pacientes? De esos que tenemos aquí, the, the, or from those 10. Even temperate. Even temperate. Placid. Placid. Forgiving. 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 Tolerant. Tolerant. Understanding. Understanding. Very good. So now, what are the characteristics of impatient people? Crabby. Crabby. Restless. Inquieto, inquieta. Okay. Grouchy. Touchy. Irritable. Okay, so let me ask you, can you tell me and can you describe yourself using two adjectives from those? Tell me two adjectives that you say, yes, I am like this. Okay, Bernardo, two adjectives from those. Okay, understanding, even temper. And even temper. Okay, George. Um, understanding and um, hmm? forgiving and forgiving okay perfect yeah. yes Pablo I'm tolerant tolerant okay yes and understanding and understanding. Okay, Maurice, what about you? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Forgiving. Forgiving? Yeah. Okay. And another one? Mm. Touchy. And touchy. Touchy. Okay. Nelly? Understanding. And uh, maybe even tempered or tolerant. Even tempered or tolerant. Perfect. Uh, Carla? Uh, understanding. Understanding? Maybe placid. And placid, okay. All right. Wendy, what about you? Ready? Um, okay. Maybe. Understanding and grouchy. And grouchy, okay. Okay. Emerson, what about you? 
Nothing has this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, all right. So, yes, I think that we all have, right, those. But okay, so let me see. Carlos Vladimir. Here. Restless and tolerant. And tolerant. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Okay. Okay. Some of you said like roachy or crabby, right? Okay. Excellent. So now let's move and let's complete the definitions. Okay. Those expressions are related to patience. Yes, to patience. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Number one, guys, number one, um, the definition is. The definition is to not have enough patience. To not have. So we should uh, we should choose from those pink verbs. Okay, so we have exhaust, lack, lose, require, run out, and try. We choose. Uh, we need to choose one of these to complete from one to six, all right? So number one, what do you think is the verb that goes in the space? Exhaust, lack, lose, require, run right out, or try? Number one, lack. Lack, okay. All right, lack patience, okay. All right. Now, what about number two? To cause someone to be annoyed to see if they get angry. to cause someone to be annoyed to see if they get angry. Lose? Lose? Mm, no. Because in this case, you cause someone to be annoyed with the, uh, the, with the purpose of uh, like seeing if they get well, angry. No. Not exactly. In this case, it's going to be try. Usted pone a prueba la paciencia de las personas en algunas ocasiones, okay? Could be. Try someone's patience. People sometimes do that. Algunas personas lo hacen, okay? Try someone's patience to cause someone to be annoyed to see if they get angry. Number three, to not have any patience left. To not have any patience left. Any. Nada ya de paciencia. It is? Require. Require? Um, not exactly. No. Cuando usted se queda sin algo, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Run out. Yes. Run out. Run out of patience. So, to not have any patience left. They don't need any patience, okay? So, run out of patience, okay? For example, I am going to run out of patience. Please complete that thing, okay? So, number four, to use up all your patience. To use up. Use up. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. no. Lose, not exactly. Require. Uh, try, no. Require, no. Exhaust. Exhaust, okay. So it should be exhaust. In this case, use up is ya acabar con. O sea, ya uso todo. Ya está exhaust, okay. To use up all your patience. What about number five? Be unable to keep your temper. In this case, yes, it is Luna. going to be lose. Lose your patience. Cuando usted ya se le acabó la paciencia, la perdió y ya se enojó. Y ya pues, ya se enojó. You lose your patience. Okay. Cuando perdí la paciencia, le dicen, I lost my patience. Okay. Uh -huh. What about number six? To need patience. 
in this case is going to be required. Okay, required is the same as saying need. Usted necesita, usted requiere de algo. Require patience. You need patience. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now let's move, right? Let's move and let's talk about idioms, idiomatic expressions, okay, related to patience. Yeah. Idiomatic expressions related to patience. So, um, Nelly, can you please help us reading number one, Emerson number two, Bernardo number three, Pablo number <clears throat> four, Wendy number five, and Carla number six. Okay, number one. I'll take a while to know the word properly. I'm sure you understand Ron wasn't built in a date. Okay. Two. Don't get annoyed. I am sure the plane will be, be here soon. Remember, patient is a virtual. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Three. There will be a better opportunity to tell them the news. You should buy your your time. Yes, very good. Number four. It was a very complicated this for a beginning. You could don't try to run before you can walk. Perfect. Number five. The optimist about the movie, but only time will say how. Things we were out. Move, okay, move. 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 Number six. Years might seem like a long time, but I believe good things come to those who wait. <laughs> wait, okay, very good. All right, so guys, those are idioms, yes? And those are really common even in Spanish, right? So it'll, it'll take a while to do the work properly. I'm sure you understand Rome wasn't built in a day. So Roma no fue hecha en un día, okay? Don't get annoyed. I'm sure the plane will be here soon. Remember, patience is a virtue. La paciencia es una virtud. Patience is a virtue. Number three, there will be a better opportunity to tell them the news. You should buy your time. Espera tu tiempo. Buy your time. Espere su tiempo. Buy your time. Number four. That's a very complicated dish for a beginner to cook. Don't try to run before you can walk. This is true. No trate de correr antes de poder caminar. Okay. Number five. I'm optimistic about the move, but only time will tell how things will work out. Solo el tiempo lo dirá. Only time will tell. Hmm? Two years might seem like a long time, but I believe good things come to those who wait. Buenas cosas vienen para aquellos que esperan. Yes. So those are idioms. You can see them. They are underlined. Yeah. Those are idioms. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to create. Okay. And I will I move you with teams. So you are going to create one sentence. Yes with each idiom. Así como ve aquí. Va a dar un contexto. You are going to give the context y va a incluir 
la expresión idiomática. ¿Ok? En ese contexto, como lo ve los ejemplos. ¿Ok? So, one sentence per each. Yes, one sentence per each. Do you have any questions, guys? Tiene preguntas. Do you have any questions? Do you have any doubt? No? Okay, let's move. Do you have questions? Do you have questions? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Tiene dudas? Este, no solo tenemos que armar una oración referente a la expresión idiomática que está. Correcto, de la 1 a la 6. Okay. Sí. Okay. Okay. Correcto, correcto. Eh, pasemos, Wendy. Bien, ¿sabes? Eh, room wasn't with in the in a days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me tomo captura usted. No, 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 no puedo ahorita en el celular. Eh, yo también soy en celular, pero permíteme, porque le tomé las capturas. No me carga. La primera, ¿verdad, Mauricio? Sí, la primera. Don, don, la A. O la 1. No, parece... no, la 1. O sea que ahí está la expresión idiomática. Uh -huh. Dice, room wasn't built in the a day. Uh -huh. Entonces, ella puso un ejemplo aquí. It, uh -huh. it will take a while to do work propelling. Entonces, Ajá. dije, tomará un tiempo, dice, que tomará un tiempo hacer el trabajo correctamente. Ajá. Eh, se refiere a Roma no se hizo un día. Ah, ya lo entendí. Entonces, hay que, hay que elaborar una expresión diferente a la que está expuesta en el ejemplo. Ah, vale. ¿Es a ti, sí, sí, sí. Yes. Ok. Vaya, entonces Mauricio, ¿sí pondría? ¿O ha pensado usted en otro? Eh, no, ahorita estoy pensando en eso. Dice, I will, yo he pensado. Uh -huh. I will take more time, uh -huh. but to do report. What? I will take what? I will take, ya, 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 ya se me olvidó. I will take, I will take, uh, ah, tomará, como te lo decir, se tomará un tiempo para hacerte el reporte. I will take a time to do report. I will take un reporte, así. Oh, 
Exactamente. Tomará un tiempo para hacer un reporte, así. Exactamente. Para hacerte el reporte. Más o menos sí. lo relaciono ahí. Roma no se hizo en un día. Ajá. Ya va. Ajá. Deja venir, por favor. ¿Perdón? A mi hija le estoy diciendo perdón. <risa> bueno, ya, ya lo notó. Yo solo, lo, o sea, solo puse lo que usted me dijo en español. Tomaré un tiempo para hacer un reporte. Después lo va a traducir a la teacher, ¿ok? Vámonos a la segunda. Vaya. La segunda dice... Pacient. Es una virtud. Yes. Ah, la paciencia. Sí. Uh -huh. Podemos poner ahí, take it easy. Ellos vendrán pronto. Podemos poner eso. Ellos vendrán pronto. Sí. Uh -huh. yeah. Es decir, lo que está diciendo es que tenga paciencia. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué? Ellos. Sí. ¿Ya? Vamos a la tres. La tres. Sí. Dice... The will are there for plenty. Mm -hmm. To take. Debería de un momento. Perdón, Mauricio. Algo así. Vale. Hagamos la, la tercera. Ajá. Vale. Eh, le están diciendo algo así siempre por la cosa de la paciencia. Uh -huh. O algo así. Eh, sobre, dice que eh, deberíamos de esperar nuestro momento. Hagamos una oración referente a eso. Entonces, ajá. Dice que. Los el, sueños se cumplen, no podría ser. ¿Perdón? Los sueños se cumplen. No. Bien, podría, porque dice que. Sí, podría ser, porque tal vez. Sí, sabe. Sí. Vale. Eh, y. Sí. Eh, podemos poner que los, los sueños se cumplen en su debido momento. Los sueños se cumplen. Sí, sí. Deberíamos de estar ahí los traduciendo. ¿sí? Ajá. Yes. Momento. Ajá. Vale, Dijer. Lo sé.
the dream come true in the in due time. The dream. The dream. The dream. Mm -hmm. dream come. Or. Mm -hmm. True. In due time. Number four. Okay. Well, number four. Dice. No intente cerrar antes de poder. Okay. Okay. Esto dice that uh, okay. dice, no no hacer un trabajo de no hacer un trabajo complicado sin antes hacer un trabajo sencillo algo así Dice, no hacer un, si pienso yo, no hacer un trabajo complicado sin antes. No hacer hecho un trabajo. Uno sencillo, sí. O sea, no haber hecho uno sen, sencillo. No no do a complicated job without fears doing a simple, sim, sim, simple, 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 simple one. Simple one. Simple one. Ok, ¿lo tenés copiado? Bueno, sí, va, ok, vamos para la 5. Uh -huh. eh, la 5 dice: uh -huh. eh... Oh, aquí está ahí perdido. Uh, only time will tell. Uh -huh. Solo el tiempo lo dirá. Solo el tiempo lo dirá. Ok. Yeah. Entonces. Uh, Tiempo, 
Optimista. I study English. I study English. English. Very much. English. And. Tendré buenos resultados. Ahí está. Resultado, o cómo va a poner resultado en el futuro, entonces en hay dice hay estar en inglés, very much, and I will. Uh -huh. Have good, 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 good result. result in the future. Okay, in the future. In the future. Mm -hmm. ¿Lo sí. Bye. Vamos para las seis. Mm. Good thing come does wait. wait. Uh, good thing come without uh -huh. we wait. 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 Okay. Cool. Podemos hacer esto referente al trabajo. Bueno. Uh -huh. Tenemos que trabajar más que los demás para tener mmm, una promoción o un ascenso. Para. Sí. Tenemos que trabajar más que los demás sí. para tener buenos resultados. Sí. Sí. Okay. Other. Okay. We will have to work hard to have opportunity in the position. Okay, we will have Mm -hmm. Or hard, hard, okay. or hard to have to opportunity. Position. ¿Ya tenés la seis, Wendy? Ajá. 
Bueno. Si querés, la repasamos, leemos la pregunta. En la 1, puede leer la 1. Usted dijo, tomará un tiempo para hacer un reporte. Report, que es similar a what was in in the day. Uh -huh. Fisher, what is the pronunciation? It y la pleca y doble L, teacher. Idle. 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 Okay. Yes. Idle take time to do the report. Ok. En la segunda. Take. Take. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yes. Yes, it's your yes. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, give me one second. Okay, let's wait for the other ones to, to join the, the main room. Okay, so here we go. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present, chair. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson? Okay. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados. Karen. Um, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Yes, thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Marina Jensi Sandoval. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Norma. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Present teacher, perdón. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy. And Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Present. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's continue. So, give me one second. All right. Let's see. I would like to hear some of your sentences. And Nelly, can you please give us the examples for the first three? Um, oh, okay, so Carla, can you please share the examples? Uh, I need I need time for learning English perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, Rome wasn't built well in a day. Oh, wasn't built. Was built. Built. Mm -hmm. Yes, next. Uh, patient, patient does make us tolerant. Patient is a virtue. Virtue. Uh, you will get a better job. You should 
by your time. Okay, very good. This pronunciation, Carla, okay? Virtue. Come. Virtue. 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 Como che. Virtue. Uh -huh. Virtue. Virtue. Uh -huh. Virtue. Okay. Virtue. Okay, thank you. Uh, Bernardo, can you please share with us the other uh, three examples, four, five, and six? Or your team, right? I don't know who you were uh, working with. Let me see. Um, you were, Bernardo. Yes, with Carlos Vladimir, Juan Jose, and Daisy. Nobody. Did you create some Bernardo? Um, okay. se quedaron teacher, pero se le cayó la la compu. Oh my God! Really? Okay. All right. So okay. All right. Well, guys, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. And in this case, um, let's move to this, okay? Uh, you will have one minute to answer the following questions. I'm going to call out some names, okay? So let me ask George, okay? George, is it important to be patient? Can you please let us know yes or no and why? Mm, yes, for me, it's, it's very important to be patient mm -hmm. because and sometimes when the the rea the reaction mm -hmm. can be destroyed um uh, i don't know our relations or uh, a bad reaction for the people could be a problem in your work or or in your family. Yes. And the other one is um, healthy for a for a person have a uh, little patience because um I think uh, you can um you can seek <laughs> or or you can or, get sick yeah because if you don't uh, if you don't have a patient uh, you can seek you can get sick yeah okay so you can get sick okay yeah. you can get sick okay Excellent. okay very okay yes i agree with you Okay, so uh, George, okay, do you have a lot of patience with preparing things? Yes, mm -hmm. because, um, well, sometimes because I um I am a little um uh, impatient. Mm -hmm. for for uh, many things okay. but um for example in my work i need uh, a lot of patience and um because we have a um, uh, we we work with a uh, machines for example mm -hmm. and and do you need a lot of patience because the machine is broken and sometimes and um i need the wait um a minute for for example for, i wait a minute for the repair in this case or um in my computer for example too mm -hmm. and i i need um a repair the connection or or the other things and but um when i try to to send a report for example the connection in my work is um 
I uh, know so good sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I try to have a patient for the repair. Okay. All right. So maybe just in the well. Okay. Yes. You are patient with repairing things. Perfect. Thank you, George. Thank and Nelly, is it important to be patient? Yes, no, why? Yes, um, for me, it's very important for the patient because um, it's not the same. Say, no, it's not healthy. It's not health. Uh -huh. It's not okay. health. Uh, it's not a healthy, um, desperate for everything. Desperate? Desperate for everything. Uh -huh. And um, maybe something um, can, can have solution uh, uh -huh. without every stress. <laughs> uh -huh that can get for this desperate or Des desperate desperate or not be patient 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 <laughs> okay now nelly can you please give us tips give us ideas give us suggestions how can you increase your patience um, i well um, in my work <laughs> Um, I I try to be relaxed. <laughs> I try to be a, a relaxed person, mm -hmm. and I I is um is smile for everything, <laughs> for okay. everything, and um I try to not feel as stressed. Uh -huh. anything and uh, maybe um i play something or i watch a funny video for relax for my mind okay <laughs> to relax mm -hmm. yes all right thank you nelly juan um uh, can you please Give us advice, give us suggestions, give you uh, give us ideas, okay, on how can we increase our patience? Yes. How can we increase? Increase. Okay. Um, maybe thinking that we are not in control of, of everything. Mm -hmm. And then when, when we think about, um, we have passion. Mm -hmm. And another thing I think, uh, the things that are going to happen, we'll do it in their moment. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. So thank you. Carla, do you think you are getting more patient or impatient as you get older? I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. More patient or impatient as you get older and older? Yeah. Well, in my when it's my day, more patient, <laughs> more patient. Yes, okay. I hope, okay, you are getting more patient. Okay, no impatient, guys. All right. Mm -hmm. Because now you know how to deal with different situations, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it depends on the situation. Okay, all right. Okay, let's continue, okay? So when was the last time you ran out of patience? Okay, ran out of, quedarse sin, okay? So when was the last time you ran out of patience? Well, I'm not sure. 
Okay. So when was the last time you ran out of patience? Think about the situation, right? Was it worth it, right? Valió la pena or no? What happened, right? Good things or bad things, right? Think about that. Mm -hmm. Now, number two, do you agree that good things come to those who wait? Do you agree on that? Do you agree that good things come to those who wait? Yes or no? Yes. And if we work hard for that too. Okay. All right. So, yes, I, I agree, uh, Nelly, uh, Nelly's point of view. I think that good things come to those who wait, but if you work hard at the same time, because if you're just waiting and doing nothing, so things probably will happen, but they will take a lot of time, right? So you need to wait, but you need to work hard at the same time. Now, let me ask you guys, give me things that you think require a lot of patience. What are the things that you think that require a lot of patience? Give me examples of situations that you say, hey, I, I think that this requires a lot of patience. Care, uh, care our needs. Okay, so <laughs> take care of, of, of kids. Yes. Okay, take care of kids in general, okay. Attend clients. Attend clients, of course. That requires a lot of patience. What else? Customer support. Customer support that requires a lot of patience. What else? Driving in traffic. Driving in the traffic. That is correct. It requires a lot of patience. A teacher with her student. <laughs> a teacher with her student, yes, absolutely, yes. That requires a lot of patience. What else? In the banks. At the bank, yes. At Sometimes, the bank. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. So do you think that patience is a virtue? Yes. Yes. yes, it is. Not all people have this virtue, right? Not all people have this virtue. Probably you have patience, but it's not in all of uh, probably your, your areas, right? Probably you are patients at work, but not with your family. And probably you are patients with your family, but not at work. Or probably with your family and work, but not with friends, right? And sometimes you do have a balance. And that is the goal, that you have the balance right, that you are patient in everything, yeah, mm -hmm. that should be the balance, guys, okay, so patience is a virtue, that is correct, all right, now let's move and let's talk about the book, all right, so we are going to continue talking about training, okay, training, so um, first of all, guys, we need to study something which is diplomatic, what is diplomatic? Can you please help us reading the definition, Juan? Diplomatic, being skillful and careful in the way that you express your thought and, and ideas in difficult situation. Yes, okay, thank you. All right, so it says that uh, being a skillful, habilidoso, right? Being a skillful and careful in the way that you express your thoughts and ideas in difficult situations. That is uh, to be diplomatic, yeah? So let me ask you, in which situations do you think you might need to be diplomatic? In which situations? In the job. Okay, in the... In a, in a meeting. In a meeting? Example. Okay, in a meeting, yes. In a meeting. Mm -hmm. Where else we need in, to be diplomatic? 
in the job and in the class? In the class, right, at work, okay. You know, it says, being as skillful and careful in the way that you express your thoughts and ideas in difficult situations, all right? So, yes, in class, at, at work, uh, probably interview. in a meeting, in the, in the interview, yes, absolutely. You need to be really diplomatic in an interview, right? Yes. Also, whenever you are probably having um, maybe a type of, uh, you know, I would say, a type of talk with somebody that you really love, right? Or maybe when you are having a talk with your family or with, with your son or your daughter, right? You need to be diplomatic, very diplomatic, all right? So um, which situations have you been in when you have needed to be diplomatic? I think that you all have had different situations, meetings with your sons, with your daughters, with your wives, right? With your husbands, probably. I don't know, all right? But you need to be diplomatic in many situations, right? Not only at work, okay? So then uh, let's focus on vocabulary. Let's talk about different definitions that we have right here when it comes to um, being diplomatic, okay? So what is the meaning of tactful? Are you tactful? Yes or no? What is tactful? Huh? Tactful. Now let's move to number two. What is direct? Huh? Uh, saying exactly what you mean. Excellent. So are you direct? Yes or no, right? I say exactly what I mean, teacher, always, okay? You are direct. What is dishonest? What is dishonest? Acting or speaking in a, in a way, way that, that is that lying, to, lying people. to people. Okay, acting or speaking in a way that is lying to people, okay. What is superficial? G, making people believe something is true and it isn't. Okay, let's say that. What is misleading? What is misleading, guys? Uh -huh. Yes. Misleading guys is engañoso, engañosa. Algo que engaña. Acting in a way that looks to be something that it is. Misleading, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So when you say that is misleading information, usted está diciendo esa información es errónea, esa información es engañosa, ok, eso no es real, that is misleading, and you can have a lot of emails which are misleading, a lot of advertising that is misleading, right, different things, then what is uh, the meaning of persuasive? Easily able to make people do or believe things. Okay, very good. What is encouraging? Giving people the feeling that they can be successful. Okay, very good. Yes, encouraging is a person that is really alentador, alentadora. If you are that type of person, si usted de las personas que en su equipo de trabajo, en su trabajo con sus amigos, en su familia, es siempre positivo y alenta, alentador, right? Que usted alienta a su, a su familia, a sus amigos, a su equipo de trabajo, usted es encouraging. Yes, una característica, encouraging, ing, okay? Una característica. What is the meaning of supportive? Giving help and yeah, care in a caring, particular situation. Yes. So, what is tactful? 
saying and doing saying things. And doing. Mm -hmm. Saying and doing things that are aware of other people's feelings. Yes. So tactful. Okay, que usted tiene tacto para hablar con las personas. Okay. So now, let me ask you. Um, well, tactful is positive. Direct, it could be positive, but also negative. It depends. It depends on your tone of voice, right? Because sometimes it's not, there is, a, there is an, an idiom, right, that says, it's not what you say, but how you say it, right? And that is true. En ocasiones, es como decimos las cosas y no lo que decimos. Okay? Es el tono de voz, the tone of voice that you use. Right? Mm -hmm. So, tactful, direct, dishonest, superficial, <laughs> misleading. Okay? Well, let's move, guys. And let's actually take the first quiz, okay? Let's take the quiz. So we're going to take the first quiz for today. And today we have um, a reading quiz. We also have a quiz um, working on the zero and the first conditional, the two conditionals that we covered last week. But first we are going to cover uh, the reading exam, okay? Reading quiz, it is short, it is not long, okay? It has three questions, okay? So there you go the link and the passcode is reading okay this is a short reading it's so simple and easy so please open it and yes you have just three questions okay only three questions um Okay, we are going to have just five minutes because that is so simple, guys. Yes, reading.
Okay, guys. So now let's take the second one. The second one is the first and zero conditional, okay? So this one, yes, please try to think a little bit, all right? Because um, I don't want you to get confused, okay? So this is about the zero and the first conditional. And the passcode is grammar, okay? So yes, this one, yes, think a little bit, okay? And I think that for this one, I'll give you um, maybe, um, let me see. Well, yes, okay, around nine, 10 minutes.
Okay, guys, so I can see that most of you finished with the quiz, okay? And I can see that most of you got 90, 100, okay? So very good. Okay, so let's continue, okay? Let's continue with our class. And let me ask you, in what situations have you had to be tactful? In which situations, guys, have you had to be tactful? Mm -hmm. What type of situations? When somebody dies? Yes. When somebody uh, actually uh, passed away, right? Yes, that is correct. We need to be really tactful. Yes. And also, we need to be really uh, tactful when somebody probably trusts uh, trust you, right? And that person probably tells you something that is uh, difficult for him or for her. You need to be tactful, right? Mm -hmm. And at work, of course, I think that you need to be tactful whenever you are probably a supervisor sometimes, right? Because um, you are the leader, right? So you need to be tactful. Mm -hmm. So are you usually direct when you ask for something in your own language that means in Spanish are you direct guys Carla yes okay George are you usually direct yes yes, yes. all right at work. at work yes yeah. okay uh, Juan Yes, me too. You as well. Okay. I usually direct when I ask for something in my yeah. own language. Yes. Okay. I think that that is that is good, right? Sometimes to be direct. Yes. So, in which situations should we be supportive to work colleagues? Uh, probably on the first month, right? You need to be supportive to work colleagues because they are learning. They are still on the learning curve, right? Yes, so you need to be supportive, right? Mm -hmm. And the last one, guys, do you think social media is superficial or a good way to communicate? What do you think about that? Do you think that social media is a good way for you to communicate? Let's talk about work, okay? When it comes to work, Let's say through WhatsApp. Do you think that is a good way to communicate? For me, it's a good tool when we use correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that is correct. I think that if, if you respect like uh, other people's timing, right? I think that yes, it could be good. Yes, social media, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, guys, let's continue. All right, so now let's talk about vocabulary. Guys, what is the meaning of goal? What is goal? What is goal? What is a goal? From the definitions that we have right here? A desired result or possible outcome. Okay, a desired result or possible outcome. So that is number one. Okay, what about feedback? What is feedback? Helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Okay, very good. So that is correct. Helpful information or criticism, right? Criticism about the performance of a person. What about budget? What is budget? Mm -hmm. An estimation of income and expenses. Excellent. Okay. So an estimation of income, entradas, and expenses, gastos. Okay. Very good. Uh, what is knowledge gap? Oh, I think that I made a mistake, right? Yes. What is knowledge gap? 
Okay. Yes. Any regular balance of what a person should know? Yes, that is a knowledge gap, guys. It is an irregular balance of what a person should know, okay? So the knowledge gap is el vacío de conocimiento. Es un gap, es un vacío que usted tiene en conocimiento. Y es por eso que recibe training, por el knowledge gap, okay? So what about coaching? The process of improving the performance of an employee. Excellent. Okay. And qualifications, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Okay. Suitable. Okay. That means that you are perfect for the position. Yes. Because you have all of the qualifications for that position. Yes. Okay. Let's move and now let's talk about the following, okay? So we need to identify, okay? We need to identify training opportunities for a personal, but first we need to label the description of the process with the right heading, okay? With the right heading, con el, corre el título correcto. Okay, guys, so let's see. Uh, help me reading, okay? Uh, number one, please, George. Number two, Juan Jose. Number three, Emerson. Number four, please, uh, Carla. And number five, please, Morris. Okay. Number one, list all opportunities and areas of improvement where training, if necessary, to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. Okay. Which one do you think is the heading? Analyze An the job. Okay, analyze the job. Okay. Okay, number two. Number two, I think that is Juan. Okay, I think I am the three. Three, okay. Uh, number two, Emerson. Is Emerson here? Probably he's not here. Yes, miss. Oh, yes. Found the best way to private training. One uh -huh. one coaching, short term and long term training, e-learning. Decide the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. Okay. This is uh, identify training solutions. Identify, okay, identify, okay. Okay, number three. Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if, if there is still evidence of a deficiency in skills or knowledge. I think it's identify personal's current skill and knowledge. Okay. Okay, identify. Okay, number four. Observe what the employee does well and what needs improving. Check the qualifications, training, course, and responsibility from previous positions. Mm -hmm. Get more individual information from human resource. Uh, I think evaluate performance after training. Evaluate performance, no. But evaluate performance after training. After training. After training. Okay. Next, the last one. Discuss and describe the responsibility 
of the position with the employee. Write the indicator, indicator of the novel and is it that match the position. Identify process changing in the district. Okay. This one is? Uh, Decide skills and knowledge gap. Correct, okay. Decide skills and knowledge gaps, okay. So this should be the process, guys, okay. This should be the process. Okay, so now let's move. And what we are going to do is the following. Listen to this. Roberto works in a publicity company, yes. Answer the following questions using your critical thinking ideas, okay? So, first of all, analyze the job. What activities that he need to perform in his job? Yes? So, you are talking about Roberto, that, and he works in a publicity company. So, what activities that he need uh, to perform in his job? At least three activities, okay? Then identify his current skill and knowledge. Answer the question. What specific skills does he need to perform his job? Is he skilled to perform his job? Yes or no? And if not, I need to please provide me with skills that he needs to perform his job. Number three, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Are there any skills he lacks that could help him do his job better? Yeah, so you are going to tell me if not, it's okay, right? If there is not any skill, perfect. And the last one, identify training solution, yeah? What type of training program would be helpful to develop the skills he lacks? You are answering number three as well here. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with his work schedule and his personal life? Online programs, on-the-job training, and mentoring. Okay? So I... Oh, Carla, I think that you are not on mute, okay? Yeah, okay, so don't worry, it's okay. All right, okay, guys. So we're going to complete this um, activity here because of the time, because we are almost done, all right? So if Roberto works in a publicity company, okay, what activities that he need to perform in his job? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What activities? What things that he does he need to do? Mm -hmm. I think he needs to uh, create a uh, post. Advertise. Oh, okay. Advertisement. Yes, that is correct. Yes, how, what else? He needs to create some posts, right? To post on social media, probably. So he needs to create videos, probably, right? Um, he needs to take pictures, maybe. What he else? He needs to know about some program to edit photos and videos. Correct. He needs to know uh, some programs, for example, Photoshop, right? Illustrator. Um, what else? Um, uh -huh. Maybe marketing. Need skills. Uh, okay. Need skills to, to speak, to I don't know, remember, how do you say when I, 
talking in front of a lot of people. To speak, okay, in a short speech. talk, a speech, okay, to give a speech, to give a talk, right? Okay, yes, very good. So the specific skills, uh, he needs to learn how to speak in public, right? And that is true, because if he is from the marketing department, right, so yes, absolutely, okay? So in this case, um, let's say that he has good communication skills. Let's say that he has some type of courses that he has taken, okay? But let's say that he doesn't know how to use um, different programs, okay? To edit and create videos. So what is skills is he lacking? that could help him do his job better. Maybe he needs to study um, a Photoshop a course, right? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know the difference between online programs, on the job training and mentoring? Which is the difference? online programs, on-the-job training, and mentoring. What is the difference, guys? Which is the difference? Mentoring is who teaches doing the things. Excellent. Huh? On-the-job training? The job training is, is uh, the uh, sometimes a meeting. Okay. When uh, explaining the above this above the topic. Okay, during your working hours, right? Mm -hmm. And online programs are the ones that we are taking right now. Okay. All right. And in your personal opinion, guys, which one is the best training program? On the job, mentoring, or online? On the job. In my opinion, on, on the line. Uh, online, okay, on the job, okay. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. yeah. there are uh, people that actually receive uh, this type of training during the working hours, right? That is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, before we go, let's take the listening quiz. Yes, let's take the listening, the listening quiz. Um, let me get it for you, okay? Oh, where is it? Okay. There you go, and the passcode is listening. Um, so for the listening quiz, this one is really simple. It's not that difficult. So um, on this quiz, let me see. So you will have just four questions, okay? And I'm going to play this recording three times. It's really short, it's not long, okay? So let me know once you are in so I can play the, the audio. Ready, Miss. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so here we go. Okay. Oh, where is it? Okay. okay. In this video, Aubrey and I are going to be talking about our first jobs that we ever had. Aubrey, let's talk about your first main job. What did you look like? What did you dislike? And describe some of those duties that you did at work. Yeah, so my first job was at a pizza restaurant. Honestly, I didn't know any better when I was applying. There were a lot of red flags. Like they hired me on the spot. Maybe don't work for a place like that. Half now, the staff what do you is mean hired? It's you on the spot and why wouldn't that be a spot. good idea okay i'm going to replay guys because i don't know why but it's like 
breaking up, right? In this video, Aubrey and I are going to be talking about our first jobs that we ever had. Aubrey, let's talk about your first main job. What did you like? What did you dislike? And describe some of those duties that you did at work. Yeah, so my first job was at a pizza restaurant. Honestly, I didn't know any better when I was applying. There were a lot of red flags. Like they hired me on the spot. Maybe don't work for a place like that. Half now, the staff What do you mean hiring quit. you on the spot? And they why wouldn't that be a spot. good idea? Half the staff had quit, including the manager. Okay, okay. So that, that's a red flag. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the, for, it was really hard at first, uh, but then they got a better management in, we got better crew in, and I actually ended up enjoying it. I got to, you know, work with a lot of different types of people um, as employees, right, than I would have normally interacted with working with customers, you know, and we would do fun stuff at work that we weren't supposed to, like, you know, baking cookies in the oven, not supposed to do that, but we so did. So what were the, what were the general duties that you had at the pizza restaurant? Yeah. So I first started at the front, um, as doing customer service stuff. I would, I think I was a customer service maniac, I think is what we called us, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, I would take orders, you know, make sure everything got to the right person not super exciting. Um, and then I moved kind of into the back for a while where I, um, you know, actually made the pizzas and I got really fast at it, uh, really fast at making those pizzas. I was like the fastest pizza cutter. Well, thank you for sharing some reflections on your first job. Okay, the second time. In this video, Aubrey and I are going to be talking about our first jobs that we ever had. Aubrey, let's talk about your first main job. What did you like? What did you dislike? And describe some of those duties that you did at work. Yeah, so my first job was at a pizza restaurant. Honestly, I didn't know any better when I was applying. There were a lot of red flags. Like they hired me on the spot. Maybe don't work for a place like that. Half now, the staff What do you mean hiring quit. you on the spot? And they why wouldn't that be a spot. good idea? Half the staff had quit, including the manager. Okay. Okay. So that, that's a red flag. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So the, for, it was really hard at first, uh, but then they got a better management in, we got better crew in and I actually ended up enjoying it. I got to, you know, work with a lot of different types of people um, as employees, right. than I would have normally interacted with working with customers, you know, and we would do fun stuff at work that we weren't supposed to like, you know, baking cookies in the oven, not supposed to do that. But we so did. what were the what were the general duties that you had at the pizza restaurant? Yeah, so I first started at the front um, as doing customer service stuff. I I think I was a customer service maniac. I think is what we called us. I don't know. <laughs> but you know, I would take orders. You know, make sure everything got to the right person. Not super exciting. Um, and then I moved kind of into the back for a while, where I um, you know actually made the pizzas. And I got really fast at it, uh, really fast at making those pizzas. I was like the fastest pizza cutter. Well, thank you for sharing some reflections on your first job. Okay. So guys, just because of the time, probably um, we are going to leave it right there. Send your answers, okay? I would like to check your, uh, just your, your scores, okay? Let me see. Okay, I can see that some of you got 100, okay? Some of you, yeah? Okay, all right. Well, guys, um, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a great night. Take care, and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Good night, guys. Take care. Good night, miss. Bye-bye. Good night, people. Bye-bye, guys. Rest. Bye, Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.